Hi, I'm Lance Goyke, and this is the power skip. So I love skipping variations because they are one leg to the other leg. They look a lot like walking. They look a lot like running. You can even make them really powerful. They teach elasticity in your lower legs, all sorts of good stuff going on there. Um, one particular thing that I want to point out with the power skip is that as I really drive my jump, I get this nice frontal plane push off in my hip. This just means that I'm controlling my side to side motion and I'm maximizing my mobility and using that to produce force for longer periods of time, AKA changing momentum, AKA being faster and outperforming everyone else. So all it is, is a skip for height. Again, the power skip is really great for fast things, for jumping higher, for developing more power, for transferring force off of one leg. Really great for all of that stuff. Now I've cued you to jump as high as you can. That's kind of the idea, like a power skip is more of a vertical jump rather than a forward jump, right? Now, if you're jumping as high as you can and you feel like you're compromising your joint position to do so, like let's say I'm crunching to get extra higher, I don't want that, okay? I'd rather you dial it back and do a more efficient movement that's a little less uh, tense and a little more relaxed so that you get better force transfer. Again, put a priority on force transfer, not just effort. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.